G'day folks, this afternoon I'm heading down into this stream down here and I'm doing a bit of dry fly fishing. Right, now one of the first things you'll notice is that this stream looks very, very similar to the stream that I was fishing with the little striped tiger nymph and the Gracie minnow recently. And that's because it's the same stream and that's because it's the same day. <laughs> I finished that awesome session, I walked back to the car, I had some lunch and I was going to go home and put a roast on and spend the afternoon at home and I thought stuff it, I've got to push myself, I'm going to have another little session. So I pulled the fly rod out, it just happened to be in the car after a recent fly fishing trip. Now I've taken the nymph, oh usually I've got a royal stimulator with a dropper behind it. There's a lot of fish rising here while I was waiting up here earlier so I've decided just to go with the dry fly. I'm starting with the royal stimulator, if that doesn't work I'll find a grasshopper pattern. But there was fish jumping so they were feeding on something on the surface. Gotta be a hungry trout in there, surely. Got him, yes, oh, I, I struck it that hard, I pulled him fair out of the water. That's a start. These little fish are small and I struck him so hard that I pulled him fair out of the water. These fish are small and they, small fish generally tend to strike faster. So you've got to, uh, you've got to strike faster because they let go of it quicker. But that's a very good sign. That, is a, that shows willingness. That shows that they are willing to come up and hit this stimulator. I just got to learn not to strike so hard. I get a little bit excited when I do this. <laughs> Anybody that's ever done any dry fly fishing will understand why. It's a very, very exciting form of fishing. Because the stream is much larger than the last stream I was fishing, and because the water is so damn clear, I'm using a longer leader to try and be a bit more stealth-like. This four weight rod was made for this sort of water. Absolutely made for it. He's under it. No, no, and again, he's flicked it, but he hadn't. And again, and again, got him. Yes. Gee whiz, look at the size of this little fish. He, he, he bloody kept nicking it like, will I, won't I, will I, won't I, will I, won't I, and eventually he had a crack at it. Tiny little rainbow trout on the Royal Stimulator. What a pretty little fish. I've always said that juvenile rainbows are possibly the most prettiest fish that I've ever seen. And that, uh, reass that reassures me, that is true. Yeah, what a wonderful little fish. He wasn't keen, he came up under it, he flicked it, he sort of flicked it. He had a couple of real sharp little jabs, but he wouldn't take it, and in the end, in the end he thought, what the hell, I'll give it a go. And then he lived to regret it. But at least he lived. And with a bit of luck next year, he'll be about two pound. <laughs> In my videos, I like to put links to everything that I'm using. Some of them are affiliate links, which means that if you buy something through that link, I earn a bit of money. Some of them aren't affiliate links. I just like to put them all there so that you know what I'm using. In a recent trout fishing video, a fly fishing video, I went to put links to everything that I was using and I honestly couldn't find any of it online. I couldn't find an Altegra fly reel, I couldn't find a wildfish fishing rod and I couldn't find the, this particular Portland line. I'm guessing it's all outdated. Bit of room behind me here, have I? I have actually. This four weight wildfish rod was just designed for this sort of water, I'm sure of it. Got him! <laughs> I pulled him up onto the rocks, look. Sorry, mate. It's another lovely little rainbow. All right, come on, buddy. There you go. Look at that. Taken on the dry fly. A stimmy. So, see ya, buddy. See ya, buddy. Ha! I find there's a lot of ifs when I'm fly fishing. If I had a soft plastic on, I'd probably be able to catch a fish in there. If I had a nymph suspending under my stimulator, I'd probably be catching more fish. But I don't want to do any of that. I want to catch fish on dry fly because it's fun. No other reason. Oh, there's a trout. I can see a trout just under the surface. That's right near him. He's beside it. Need to go about a foot further. The house right beside him now. Here he comes, he's looking. No. He just took something off the surface, two feet from me fly. 
Yeah, it's got to see that. It's got to see that one. It's coming past him right now. And he's just not interested at all in the stimulator. But he is feeding off the top. So I'm probably using the wrong, the wrong fly here. I'm, oh, one to the gold and again. Missed him. Jeez, I should have struck a bit harder. He pulled that under that fly. He gave that a decent whack. Because the fish are small, I'm scared. Here we go. Little weenie one hitting it. Because they're small, I'm scared to strike too hard because I pull them straight out of the water. <laughs> Got him. Here's a nicer one. He's a much nicer fish. I'm going to have to lift him straight out and hope he doesn't get off. If he hasn't already, there you go, under all the snags. Here he comes, over this side. Bring it down here, mate, so I can keep you in the water. Ah, lovely rainbow. Here's a very nice rainbow. Here's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Look at all the spots. Magnificent. Taking on the dry fly. Dry fly fishing is so much fun. See you later, buddy. I'd love to be getting photos of these fish, but I'm just not going to. As I said in my other video that I filmed just downstream of here earlier, on a hot day like today, it's just not worth holding them out of the water. Because they will die. My well, folks, it's safe to say that I'm having an absolute blast here with the dry fly. Sometimes when I'm using my uh, the dry fly nymph combination, and the fish are always taking the nymph, but I do often wonder if... Oh, God, oh, I missed him. I do often wonder if the nymph wasn't there, if they'd take the dry. So naturally they're going to prefer to take the nymph because they don't have to stick their head out of the water. They feel safer underwater than they do on top of the water. Got him. Oh, I did a shit. It didn't make me fly off them, did I? Nah. Struck too fast. They certainly will. Got him. Nah, missed him. God, I said got him before I even struck on that fish. That's how excited I get. <laughs> I said got him. And then I lifted the rod to, to strike. Yeah, as I was saying, naturally the fish are going to feel good. We go. Missed him again. They're so small. Small fish are always to take on him. He's a bit bigger. I'm going to say small fish are always the hardest to catch on a dry fly because they hit it so damn fast. You're going to go to the lift again. He's a nice fish too. Hey, over this side. It's a brownie this time. Ha! Oh, all right. Come on, buddy. Right, I'll get you out and I'll get you back in. I'll get you out and then I'll get you in. That makes sense. Lovely brown trout on the Royal Stimulator. See ya, mate. I better stop fishing while I try and say what I've been trying to say. Because this fish keep hitting my fly, which is a good problem to have. I reckon fish prefer to feed under the water if possible. If they've got two sources of food, one under and one on top, I reckon they're going to choose the one under because it's safer. And that's why I took the nymph off and just went with the Royal Stimulator today. Just so that they only had one option. And I reckon that might be why I'm getting a lot of takes on the dry fly today, whereas I wasn't last time. They're all hitting the nymph. I wonder if I was using a nymph today, I wonder how many of these fish would have been caught on the nymph instead of the stimulator. Holly wouldn't go to sleep last night. She just would not settle and go to bed. I said, Holly, the cows in the paddock over the back fence have all gone to sleep. She said, what's that got to do with anything? I said, because it's pasture. Pasture bedtime. <laughs> Ooh, got him. Ha, <laughs> ha. Uh. He's swimming towards me. No, he's still on. When they swim towards you, it's always a concern that they're going to uh, uh, spit the hook out. Drop the hook. Lovely little brownie. Come here, buddy. He's a bit leaner than the other fish. See ya, mate. I, I struck him. And then he, uh, he swam towards me. And straight towards me, I thought, oh, I'm going to lose him. But he hung in there like a true soldier. I pulled that trout out of about probably four inches of water, I reckon. God, it's gotta be, got him. Yes. I was gonna say, there's gotta be a trout in there. He's swimming towards me as well. 
Hey guys, we got him under control. Little rainbow. Lovely little rainbow. These little weenie trout are the hardest ones of the lot to catch when you're fly fishing. Lovely little rainbow. So yeah, buddy. Having an absolute blast, I must say. Loving every moment of this. They all got him. I said, there's a take. I struck too hard again, but I got him. I'm not a very good fly fisherman. Now, make no mistake, I don't proclaim to be a very good fly fisherman. But I'm good enough to catch trout. That works. What a pretty little brown trout. Still got his par markings. See ya, buddy. I strike too hard. I strike too fast. I strike too slow. I'm far from a good fly fisherman. But I'm good enough to catch trout. That's what matters. It works. Ooh, the little one took it in that little corner there and again. Got him. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at this wall is. <laughs> when I set the hook, I yanked him fair out of the water and passed me ears. <laughs> We've all done that. I've done that plenty of times before. Look at the size of that little weenie rainbow trout. He's tiny. He is tiny. Most fly fishermen have done that at some point in time. Huh. Gone to set the hook, pulled the fish out of the water straight past their ears. Some have probably even wet themselves in the face doing it with the fish. <laughs> oh, the take. Missed him. And again, missed him again. And again, he's so small. They are so small. I want the stimulator, but they're too small. Here comes the sun. Da -da -da -da. Another oh, oh, fuck you guys, another lovely little brown. I was miles away when he took that. Then I was just sitting here or standing here thinking, I can't really call myself a fly fisherman because I don't wear a fly vest and I don't smoke a pipe. And then from out of nowhere a trout came and took my dry fly. <laughs> it was the most outrageous strike you've ever seen. Look, a copperhead. Oh, I nearly stood on him, bugger. The first one I've seen for a long time. A Highland Copperhead. I don't know whether you got to see him on camera or not. Hopefully I can crop in and slow down. You might just get a, get a second or two of footage. I've been wanting to see one for a long time to film one so I can show you. And they are the most beautiful snake. I see a lot of snakes. And the Copperhead is my favourite. That was a Highland Copperhead. I think the scientific name is Australaps superbus, but I could be wrong. I'm not a scientist. The, there's four types of snakes in this area. There's the Highland Copperhead, the Red Belly Black, the Tiger Snake and the Eastern Brown. And they're all found where I am now. But if you're going to see a snake near your feet like that, you want it to be a Copperhead every time. Because they are the most placid snakes you'll encounter. If it's not a Copperhead, well then you want it to be a Red Belly Black, because they usually get out of your way pretty quick. And if it's not a Black or a Copperhead, well... Then there's a tiger snake. I don't say you want it to be a tiger snake because they've got a bad reputation But I'd rather it be a tiger snake than an eastern brown The old eastern browns, they scare the bejesus out of me It's a nice pool I can see a trout swimming about in the middle of the pool Just there. Take it, take it. He's under it. Got him. I actually cast that trout. I could see him swimming there And I, uh, I landed the fly right in front of his nose there's another one rising up there now too. What have you got here? A little brownie. A lovely little brown. Brown trout, rainbow trout, copperheads. Today, there, yeah, beautiful fish. See ya buddy. Today is the type of day that dreams are made of for me as far as I'm concerned. 
and I've got to tell you, I'm loving every minute of it. I've just, since the COVID rules eased up a bit, I've been picking up a few extra hours at work, and a few more shifts than what I was doing. And it's just so good to be able to get back out here and just spend quality time on such a beautiful waterway. Now, if I'm going to, there you go, I've got to get that untangled. When you're fly fishing, line tangling is a part of the process. It's all part of the territory. Right, we're free. Let's go after this other one that was rising. He's a bit further up. He's up about there. Come on, take it. Oh, there was rings under it. Something came up under it. I know he's going to be there. Oh, what about now? Perfect. Got him. Oh, missed him. That was a bloody good, bloody good solid rise, that one. Will he have another go? Quite often when you dry fly fishing, I'll come back for another go. Got him. <laughs> oh, I lost him. I hooked it properly on everything and he spun about a metre and a half and then he spat it out. And now it's ended up in that tree. I don't want to lose his fly. I think I've already lost it. I think I might have left that fly in that fish's mouth, did I? Why not? There it is. Beauty. That sometimes happens when you strike too hard and I didn't think I'd struck too hard then. Check this out for the mother of all log jams. <laughs> this is just what I needed right now because I tell you what folks, I'm having so much fun. If that wasn't there, I'd still be fishing for the next probably two hours. I need to get back to the car. I've got to walk back down the stream. This has been the best dry fly fishing that I've had since Rex Hunt taught me to fish about, fly fish about 10 years ago. We caught 27 that afternoon and this afternoon's been every bit as much fun. I have had an absolute blast. Dry fly fishing, give it a go. This is where I saw that copperhead before. I'd love to see him again. <laughs> 